Have you ever pondered the difference between ferrous and non-ferrous metals? It might seem like a trivial question, but the answer carries significant implications for the fields of engineering, construction, and recycling. Ferrous metals, on one hand, are those that contain iron. This group includes well-known metals like steel, stainless steel, wrought iron, and cast iron. The presence of iron gives these metals a distinct set of characteristics. They're strong and durable, making them ideal for construction projects, car manufacturing, and appliance production. However, their iron content also makes them vulnerable to rust when exposed to moisture and air, a drawback that can limit their use in certain environments. On the other hand, non-ferrous metals are those that do not contain iron. This category encompasses a wide range of metals including aluminum, copper, lead, tin, and zinc, as well as precious metals like gold and silver. Non-ferrous metals are generally lighter than their ferrous counterparts, and they're also more resistant to rust and corrosion. This makes them suitable for applications where weight and corrosion resistance are crucial, such as in the aerospace industry or in the production of electronic devices. But it's not just the physical properties that distinguish these two types of metals. They also differ in terms of their magnetic properties. Ferrous metals are magnetic, which is why you can stick a magnet to your fridge or car. Non-ferrous metals, however, are not magnetic, which is why your gold jewelry doesn't stick to magnets. So, to sum up, ferrous metals contain iron, are strong and durable, but prone to rust and are magnetic. Non-ferrous metals, in contrast, do not contain iron, are lighter and more corrosion resistant, and are not magnetic. Understanding these differences is essential when choosing the right metal for a specific application, whether it's building a skyscraper, designing a spacecraft, or crafting a piece of jewelry. So next time you come across a piece of metal, ask yourself, is it ferrous or non-ferrous? The answer might be more important than you think.